Although animal extinctions may have been caused by natural occurrences, in the past couple of decades, several species have been driven to extinction mainly because of human interference. You may have already known some of the famous extinct animals within Earth's history, such as dinosaurs and mammoths. But do you know some of the coolest extinct animals we've ever seen? Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching the top coolest animals that used to live on Earth. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content, or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Capturhinus Capturhinus was a tiny, ancient reptile, weighing 4.5 pounds, that used to live on Earth 289 million years ago. Within the span of about 30 million years that followed, the Capturhinus had spread across Pangaea, so it developed many adaptive techniques that worked to the reptile's advantage, allowing it to thrive and spread across the supercontinent. One of these evolutionary traits was ditching its tail for deterring predators looking for an easy meal. According to a Newsweek report, this trick is similar to a paper towel ripping off of a roll at a perforated seam. When a predator grabbed the lizard's tail to try to eat the reptile, the tail would rip off at a certain crack, allowing the reptile to get away. Scientists also found that the cracks that allowed them to detach their tails were often present in younger reptiles, whereas fully grown adult reptiles had tails that seemed to be fused together. This could be because younger reptiles were at greater risk of being eaten than adult reptiles. Many modern day reptiles have the trait as well, but even though lots of reptiles can do it today, this ancient reptile is the oldest known species to be able to do so. 2. Sea Mink in naturalist sketches, sea minks look like engorged water squirrels and perhaps were one of the largest mink species to ever live in North America. Sea minks had been hunted by Native Americans for their meat and pelts, but the hunting had been on a small scale and low intensity, so they would not threaten then. However, after Europeans arrived around the mid-16th century, sea minks were hunted at a faster rate for their fur as there was a growing market for fur in the European countries. At that time, there were no laws or regulations in place that checked on the hunting of wild animals. As there was high demand for their fur, European hunters were hunting them on a large scale and with more advanced weapons than the Native Americans. They were so heavily hunted by fur trappers near the Gulf of Maine and along the eastern Canadian coast that eventually they went extinct in the late 1800s or early 1900s. It was not until years later after the sea mink's extinction that the scientists reached a fever pitch when debating their taxonomic roots. Some insisted sea minks were an offshoot of American minks, while others argued they were a distinct species. Eventually, the prior one. Sea minks are a type of mammal that is in the same family as weasels and otters and are close relatives to American minks, except that the sea minks were a lot larger in size. Three. Ankylosaurus The Ankylosaurus were not the regular dinosaurs that you used to know because they were heavily armored and once populated the Earth, except Africa, in the late Cretaceous period. The 26-foot-long, 18,000-pound behemoths were herbivores, meaning they didn't eat meat. They lumbered around the Pacific Northwest about 68 million years ago. As a defensive creature, Scientists opine that the Ankylosaurus was one of the most perfect designs of nature. Interestingly, with their bizarre proportions and armored features, the body of this prehistoric giant was extremely wide, as compared to many other contemporary species like modern-day crocodiles, armadillos, turtles, and some lizards. According to their fossils, scientists suggest that they were slow-moving creatures because they had heftily built structures and massive tail clubs. When challenged, they would inflict severe injuries on the legs of the predators by swinging the massive tails sideways, leaving them unable to move and thus stopping them from chasing. Did you know that the tail of the Ankylosaurus was strong enough to even shatter the bones of a Tyrannosaurus Rex while fighting? It's comparable to the strong tail of the modern-day kangaroo that is able to give severe injuries to an attacking lion. 4. Smilodon Smilodon is the genus name for the ancient big cats that are now popularly known as the saber-toothed tiger. The first evidence of these big ancient cats' existence was found in fossils unearthed in 1830 in Brazil 
by Danish paleontologist, zoologist, and archaeologist Peter Wilhelm Lund. With their distinctive large upper canine teeth that were around 28 centimeters long, since then, other members of the Smilodon genus began to be documented as well. Scientists estimated that these ancient cats evolved around 2.5 to 1 million years ago. They were massive, with the heaviest weighing more than 800 pounds, and the smallest thought to be about the size of a jaguar, weighing around 360 pounds. The most mysterious part that intrigued the scientists is how these cats would use their oversized teeth. While some paleontologists believe that they utilize them like a knife, sinking the teeth into the flesh of the prey, others think that they would use the teeth to slice meat off from the carcass of the animals already dead. This in turn implies that they might have been scavengers as well. However, because their teeth were quite fragile, their owners were not able to consume the entire prey since they might then damage them. Scientists also presume that they were ambush predators since they had stout muscular forelimbs. They are thought to have been suddenly attacking and surprising their prey by sneaking up on them and killing them quickly. However, other groups of scientists debate this behavior. Since these large cats had a physical resemblance with hyenas, they believe that the animals had the ability to chase prey over considerable distances, at least for some time. Early DNA analysis placed these creatures within the subfamily felines, standard with modern-day cats. However, recently, a more in-depth analysis of the subject revealed that Smilodons were not close cousins of the felines. They are rather members of a subfamily Macheridonitae, which evolved extant of the felinae types. 5. Giant Ground Sloth The giant ground sloth, also known as the Megatherium, was a genus of enormous rhino-sized ground sloths that were indigenous to South America and migrated and spread across the entire continent of North America. These large furry herbivores lived for about 5.3 million years and went into extinction around 10,000 years back. The first fossil was unearthed in 1796 by the French anatomist Georges Cuvier, the father of paleontology, who recognized it as a type of ancient sloth. While the oldest recovered fossils belong to the era 5.4 million years ago, the species Megatherium americanum evolved much later, dating to about 1.8 million years. The exact reason for their disappearance is yet not known. However, humans were contemporary to these creatures and are thought to be their primary enemies and predators, responsible for their extinction about 10,000 years ago by hunting them down for food. Scientists thought that their lifestyles and behaviors varied diversely between the species as there were numerous bones, fur, and other skeletal remains found. However, they were naturally peace-loving creatures that would only show aggression when it came to defense. They were slow-moving animals, and the diet of these creatures varied according to climactic changes, while the dung samples also showed which plants these animals preferred. Like, during the summer months, they would consume desert plants, while in the winter or wet months, they would prefer young leaves from trees. Samples of fecal matter also suggest that they preferred berries and fruits, including avocado. 6. Irish Elk Contrary to its name, the Irish elk was neither an elk nor was it exclusively found in or around Ireland. DNA evidence suggests that it was actually one of the largest deer species to ever roam on Earth. The reason the word Irish has stuck with the name of the species is that their skeleton remains were mainly found in the peat bogs and lake sediments in Ireland. Their native range included Europe and Northern Asia, from Ireland in the west to as far as Lake Baikal in the east. They went extinct around 10,000 years ago with giant sloths and saber-toothed cats. Scientists believe that they lived for around 2,000 years in and around Siberia, even after it was believed to have gone extinct. Available evidence suggests that a variety of factors played significant roles in different parts of its native range in wiping out this species. And that is a wrap! What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below! We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact!